The Boston bombing suspect due to appear in public today for the first time since being captured after that massive manhunt back in April. He's expected to enter a plea right in front of so many of the victims who will be in that courtroom this morning. ABC's Pierre Thomas is there in Boston for us. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. Today, security will be tight as the bombing suspect makes his way to court, and many of those victims will see him face to face for the very first time. Joe Karzanayev will enter a packed federal courthouse today, facing terrorism charges that could give him the death penalty. Prosecutors plan to file 30 separate counts, ranging from carjacking to using a weapon of mass destruction. Some of those who sustained physical and psychological wounds that horrific April day say they will be there. I do want to go. I want to see who changed their lives forever. Liz Norton's two sons each lost legs in the bombings. They don't see themselves as victims, but they do want Zarnayev to pay. If you had an opportunity to speak to him directly, what would you say? Probably wouldn't do too much talking with him. <laughs> I'd probably hope there was no cameras or anything else. Though. And moving forward with your life, what's the primary thing that gets you through it? Just wanting to get better. Uh, you know, it was, I wanted more than anything to just stand up on two feet. Like that, you have no idea how bad I want to get up. The attack killed three people and wounded the Norton brothers along with 258 others. Jokar's older brother Tamalon was killed after a high speed chase with police. Authorities say Jokar ran over his brother when he fled the scene. Now the young man found cowering in this boat faces the prospect of justice alone. As the suspect enters the court, an entire city will be watching, ready for the process of justice to begin. Robin. Thank you, Pierre.